Well, hello folks. I'm doing another video here. As you can tell, I just got back from Shields. I picked up coffee. But, I also got lucky. <clears throat> well, somewhat lucky. I hope my wife don't have too much of a uh, tizzy about it, but... I found some ammunition. Wolf 223. They're steel case. So we can't use them in the indoor range. But, here lately we've found a uh, outdoor range. And I'm going to do this trick. Let's take a look at these. Oh, ho, ho, ho. maybe. <laughs> there we go. Here are your copper slug. Come on, fingers. Or am I going to have to pull the whole thing out? Anyway, they're the copper slug steel case made in Russia. Wouldn't you know? <laughs> Russian ammunition's coming in, but American ammunition's having a hard time getting to us. But you know what? I picked up two boxes. They had a shelf, well, I'd say about a two-thirds of a shelf and a portion of another with the 223 and the rest was 7.62 by 39 ammo that they had. I believe that was Winchester. So they are getting some ammo in and I got lucky I picked up two boxes. They were, let me dig the receipt out here. $9.99 a box for these. The coffee was $34.99. But that's uh, 32 rounds of single serve coffee pods. And I'm going to go ahead and tell what company, Black Rifle, because it's good coffee, with sales tax of $4.12, two boxes of ammo and one box of coffee, $54.97. I guess I got gold, so I better hold on to both. What do you think? I've shot wolf ammo before, and I have, oh, now I find the way to open the box, to get the case out. It's not a bad ammo. Now be good for target practicing. That's exactly what I bought it for. It's not the soft lead tip for hunting. I'm still looking for that because eventually I'd like to do a Texas hog hunt with the 223. I'd also like to do a Texas hog hunt with the uh, Henry Colt 45. But I've got to build up to that point. My wife and I are figuring on different ways to do things like that. One of them is buymeacupofcoffee.com and the other is we're checking into credit unions and different things that round up your expense to the next dollar to put that in your savings account so it helps you save. 
They'll also work for a retirement, which at uh, 56, we should be looking at retirement funding seriously. That's why I'm doing YouTube to build up viewers, build up subscribers, so I got something to do in my retirement to make me maybe 50 cents. <laughs> because I have no idea about the monetization <laughs> of what it pays. So if I make 50 cents monetization, I'd be happy because I've never made a dime with my YouTube. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll try to bring you some more videos when I get lucky with ammo or lucky getting good coffee. Uh or something else for my hobbies like trains and I still haven't figured out if I'm gonna get back into the stamp collecting or not I don't know if that would be viable for YouTube uh, I do know that I'm going to try to do some scooter videos here in the near future that might bring a few views so like, share, and subscribe. Let your friends know about this channel. And we'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.